Hey guys, it's Toast again from the Fish Yacker YouTube channel. You see what's in my hand, you know what that means. It's another one of those really super cheap, inexpensive fishing lure reviews. Uh, another one of those, uh, sometimes you get what you pay for, sometimes you're surprised. Oh my gosh, it's 75 cents will this thing actually work kind of video. Let's see what it is this time. So guys, here's one in one of those little cheap tiny Z packets. It's a lure I picked up on eBay about a month ago. It got to me really in just a matter of days. This one uh, came a lot quicker than most of them. I got it out finally today, played with it on the water to see if it would work. Well, you're probably wondering now, what the heck is it? Well, this is it. This uh, is something I picked up for 75 cents with free shipping. It's listed as New Lot, One Pieces, Fishing Lures, Bass, Crank, Bait, Tackle, Fish, Hooks, 4 Centimeters. Again, it's 99 cents Canadian. Comes out to 75 cents U.S. right now with free shipping. So this comes to you for barely more than the price of a U.S. stamp. Of course, it comes straight over from overseas. So uh, let's take a look at it, and then we'll go through the description here. Uh, it comes in one of those cheap little Chinese packets. Was pretty well uh, packaged too. It was rolled all up in the nice, non-biodegradable, horrible, horrible for the environment styrofoam packaging. One of those uh, typical clear cellophane Chinese lure wrappers. Like I said, I've already gotten this out a little while ago and played with it. What is it? It calls it a crankbait in the listing, but it's basically a little miniature jitterbug knockoff looking wobble top water lure thingamajiggy. Looking back at the description again, this thing I picked up again off of eBay and I'll have the description uh, and a link to it in eBay uh, posted down below in the description on uh, on, on the uh, YouTube video itself. But if you look down at it, uh, new uh, new lot, one pieces, fishing lures, bass, crankbait, tackle, fish hooks, four centimeter. So it's four centimeters in length. That being said, uh, it doesn't actually tell you it's a top water lure or floating lure. It's got a bunch of different uh, colors and so forth on here. So when I ordered this, it was a random selection. The one I got was a fairly decent one. It's kind of the, uh, the, the photos they have on here actually pretty much suck. So it actually looks a lot better in person than actually doing the photos. I've got the one here that has like the yellow chartreuse back. Uh, and looking at the photos down here, I actually don't exactly see that one necessarily showing up as much, except down here in the group. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. I'm looking at the description down here. Uh, again, for the product description, four centimeters, assorted color, high, uh, let's see, sharp and high penetration hook. Hope so. It's not, not doll hooks, I hope. 4.4 grams. This thing is really, really light, guys, so it's not going to cast really well on any type of heavy line and rod. Uh, material obviously is plastic, and you can look on here. <laughs> this is this popular bait is a, fa a favorite prey too, bass, snakehead, and so on. They create lifelike swimming actions in water and so forth and whatever. Anyhow, so I guess it's sin in random color. So let's take a look at this guy. Like I said, similar to those uh, Arbogast uh, old school lures we had a long time ago. Some more modern look to it. Instead of having like what you'd see back in the day with the jitterbugs, the uh, the uh, metal lip on it, it's got a clear plastic lip, so it's all like an injection molded uh, clear plastic in it. It uh, looking at it, it looks good. Uh, the actual mold itself has like a 3D design to it. It actually has ridges in it. It's not like one big blob. So it actually has a pretty good look to it. Uh, it's got 3D eyes on it. Uh, you can tell it's like a two-piece mold the way it's manufactured with a seam down the middle. Uh, it does have here with the uh, eyelet in the front has a split ring on it. So that split rings all the way around. That's good. That's pretty darn cool. Uh, so it even has one in the front and it has one under each of the hooks. And looking at the hooks actually, these are a higher quality hook than a lot of the ones. You know what I tell you? When I get these and I look at the hooks and they're really a shiny metallic looking chrome. They seem to break really quickly. Uh, these have a little bit more of a uh, almost blued finish to it. Uh, the hooks themselves are pretty sharp. Not bad. Um, so looking at the, the manufacturer of it, it's not much to it, but it does look good. It holds up well. It's got a little rattle inside of it. 
Uh, like I said, I took it out and used it. This thing actually has a really tight little wobble to it. Doesn't cast a long, huge distance because it's so light. Uh, and I'm sure if you catch much of a big fish on it, it's going to totally inhale it and you're going to gut hook it. But uh, for like crappie or smallmouth or something, this thing is definitely going to work. Uh, didn't hold up real well on the current though, but uh, in slack water, this thing performed really well. Like I said, a tight little wobble. Uh, some of the cheap lures like this, when I pick them up, they do hold water sometimes when I get them out of the, out of the water. And it'll still be dripping and you can hear the water inside of it. Sometimes it's seen where they rusted inside of the ball bearings. This one didn't. This one held up well. So uh, do I recommend it? Heck, if you're in the market for something like this or you're picking up something cheap for your friends or family for the holidays, seriously, it's 75 cents. You can't go wrong. You can barely mail an a envelope for that. <clears throat> but uh, it does work. It will catch fish. I don't know. It's not much else to say. It works. It'll catch fish. It's 75 cents. There you go. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still getting over this cold. But uh, if you haven't already, go down below, give us that thumbs up, let us know what you want to see, and please subscribe to Fish Yacker YouTube channel. We'll catch you on the water. FishYacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.